Hello. Okay, so this company called Anthrodesk sent me this motorized standing desk, uh, desk frame. Uh, they also sent the tabletop because they're separate. And uh, I love it. It has a dual motor. That means there's a motor on each leg and it has programmable buttons to remember different positions. And it's really easy to set up and put together. So for me, the worst feeling in the world is when an entire day has gone by and I'm just lazily slumped in my chair, feeling unmotivated uninterested in doing anything, and my life just feels like it's sitting still. Uh, I didn't like how I was feeling, that kind of laziness with no stimulation for creativity. I'm not saying just standing up with a standing desk will change everything, but I knew deep down that a general lifestyle change had to happen. Uh, thanks to some friends of mine, I started working out more, running, climbing, and just moving around more in general. The idea of a standing desk was really appealing to me when Anthrodesk reached out to me, because it, it's just one more thing that's ensuring that I'm not sinking into my chair the entire day, feeling the pull of gravity overpowering my will to make art or do anything stimulating. So as a result of making gradual changes, I definitely feel more motivated, excited, unaffected by negativity, because we all, we all get those negative comments here and there. And it's just this overall feeling that I'm like on the playing field of life. So when I'm using the standing desk, I'm not standing the entire time, but if I'm sitting, there will be a certain point where I just feel like it's I don't know, my back is starting to stiffen and it just, eh, I don't know. So I'll just press the button and then stand for a while. So a healthier lifestyle definitely affects creativity in a positive way. Cause like for me, I just feel more alive and not just from having a standing desk, but it's the overall reframing of how I go about the day, as I mentioned earlier, because being physically active gets the energy flowing. I sleep better and when I'm doing art, I feel more motivated. And it's this overall feeling of moving forward in a positive direction. And all that naturally flows into your creativity fueling it with something that you can get out of life for free just by going on a walk. The worst case scenario of laziness results in this, I don't feel like doing anything. Moving around changes that. The world stimulates your mind, your emotions, but don't take my word for it entirely. Here's a doctor's point of view on the subject. Oh, you are a doctor. What are your thoughts on those types of folks who work in offices, whatever, and are sitting all day? That is definitely not good. The fact if you are sitting too much, that is bad for a lot of things. The heart, the way sitting all day at work and not moving around or standing increases your card cardiometabolic risk significantly, which means you're more likely to get a mm -hmm. heart attack or metabolic illnesses like diabetes and so mm -hmm. on. What about like back pain and such? That would also be affected definitely uh, when you sit too long. Right. And you have a standing desk at work? I actually do. Uh, you said you, you made it, right? Yes. <laughs> a few years ago, I was sold on the, I was sitting too much at work. Um, so I wanted to solve that, so I went ahead and made my own. But it's not motorized, it's just a no, stack. No, it's made out of wood. It's not... <laughs> no, not maybe we can try to get you kind. one. Oh, okay, that would be cool. Um, I, I don't sit at all at work now, except when I'm seeing a patient. Uh, what about standing all day? Or do you want to move around, take breaks, sit down? Because I have a standing desk now, and it goes up and down, because it's motorized. Um, so how often should I stand? How often should I move around? That's a really good observation question. Um, no, you shouldn't stand in one place throughout. You should move around. Unless the body is moving, we don't move blood around mm. effectively and efficiently. Whereas so, sitting all day, your circulation is probably poor. It's going to be impaired and you're going to pull blood in the wrong place. You're yeah. going to get stretch reflexes depressed. Depressed. Well, not good. Mm. Uh, any articles you've read lately that refer to this? Actually, yeah, I've read quite a few, but what comes to mind was published last year. It was from Australia, a pretty good study. And it compared those sitting and those not sitting as far as risk factors are concerned, and it was significant. But the significance became apparent when the person would sit less for a long term. Okay. more than 12 months so it's, it's a long-term effect but mm. it works and it also helped their weight and their uh, sugar levels and so on mm. so yeah it's a plus i would just say it's healthy if you do not sit a long time at your workplace or at home or yeah. anywhere <laughs> in spite of me sitting right now but i've already done my due diligence of ping pong today right 
three hours worth. Wow. Yeah, generally, it, I would always say prevent illness from happening, and you do it most effectively with lifestyles. Eat right, exercise, sleep right, and avoid harmful substances like smoking. Uh, for um, example. Yeah, thanks for your input. I'll try to put this in the video. I hope you enjoy your stand-up desk. I already am. Anyway, thanks for watching, and thanks to Anthrodesk for sending this desk frame and tabletop to me. Feel free to check out the links. They also have a lot of other products like uh, cable clips and standing mats for standing desks so that it helps uh, improve the level of comfort for when you're using these things. Well, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you next time. I think that's when you started getting professional training. Uh, yeah, that was Only at CCAD. Mm -hmm. Right. That's funny. Some training was from me. Uh, oh, right, right. Yeah. Okay. okay.